In case you missed last week's episode, here is Barefoot on her way to getting hauled out. We have decided to use Heritage Boatyard here in Fort Pierce. One of the main reasons we chose this boatyard is because our friends in an identical boat are on the hard there already and they've had a great experience so far. Finding a yard to haul us out has been a bit of a challenge. <laughs> um, it took a bit of time. This yard is super busy, um, lots of boats coming in and out. So we are lucky that they had a spot for us. It was a little bit narrow coming in, but not too bad. As you can see this slip here, um, it is just wide enough for us. I believe they only allow catamarans about 20 feet wide. We're 19.5 feet, so we just made the cut. It was super narrow coming in. It wasn't that bad. Look how much room there is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this time hauling out barefoot, I wasn't nearly as nervous. I think I was most nervous about coming into the slip because it was narrow. But the fact that they have a proper travel lift kind of put my anxieties at ease. Last time we hauled out, as you know, when we were in Loop Run, they used a tractor trailer lift with telegraph poles across it to lift barefoot up. When they did that, they cracked both of our hulls and they made more damages to the boat than what we already had. So basically it can't go any worse than it did last time. And the fact that they have professionals who do this every day um, really put that anxiety at ease. It's safety underneath and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That underwater light is. <laughs> that one didn't work in the Bahamas anyway. Yeah. <laughs> May need to get new underwater lights. That one was already the one that was flooded when we were in the Bahamas. So. That'll be fun to get it off. The yard gonna be about an hour anyway. What do you think? No wonder my paddle wheel doesn't tell me the speed and the depth's a bit inaccurate. <laughs> the depth sound actually was still working quite well, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> It's in pretty gross condition. I should have pulled it out and stew it really. I think those noises that we've been hearing in the nighttime, I think yeah. it's either a turtle or a big fish that's been ripping off barnacles. That's why there's lots of barnacles missing. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. Yeah. Ripping them off. Really that's noisy. Noise. Really noisy. It's a leaky through hole. Yeah. You're coming off, mister. It's a bit dirty where we were pulling up a muddy anchor. Yeah. Sorry, it's just a bit of dirt. What's that coming out of that hole? Piece of string. That's from the anchor locker. Don't worry, that no, that's that. not the anchor locker. That's the cock. Oh, that's no, that the is the anchor locker. locker. 100%. Sorry, <laughs> I was turned around. See where we were jacked up last time? 
Yeah. And when we did the painting, we didn't paint that section. We never did. We couldn't take that one out until we were on the lift, and then it was too late to do it. She's a bit grubby. I'm looking forward to seeing what she looks like when she's pressure washed. Yeah. So there's a few main differences that we've already noticed at this yard here in Fort Pierce. So as they're pressure washing the bottom, they put the boat in a specific spot where there's actually a drain that goes down. So none of the water from the pressure washer with particles of antifouly paint can go back into the river system. It goes through a filtration process before it then goes back into the water. time round, it just feels so much safer being hauled out. The professionalism here has been fantastic, and they've even put us on the hard next to our friends in the identical boat to ours. Look at that, perfect! Chalks blocked, all done within an hour, lift's been removed, and it was a very professional service, so thumbs up so far. So we've got this gross, like, scummy line along the water line. The ICW uh, mustache. Davey just said it's the ICW mustache from the brown waters. So Davey just went to get a product um to clean that off as well as a few bits and pieces that we need so i got some easy on easy off and i didn't think it was quite funny it did see here directions uh preparation remove boat from water no shit sherlock <laughs> <laughs> okay so it does it has made a huge difference on here eh babe it certainly has and it's coming off so much easier than everything else we have yeah so. well it's looking a bit yellow up here well that probably needs washing that's why i gave you a bucket of water to wash after me Oh, got ya. Okay, so I was able to follow Davy around and I was able to get off all that yellowy residue. And now our ICW mustache is officially gone. It's super satisfying. The underside of the boat looks great. So do the sides. But we've only been here on the hard first day so far. Davy's already managed to find a table for underneath of the boat and he's already moved down some of his products that he needs to start on projects so <laughs> it already looks like a bit of a mess down here underneath barefoot but we're super excited to start cracking on with some of these big projects so it's kind of cool you can see behind me there's two mahis on the hard next to each other two identical boats so this is our friend's boat Irie cat Davey's gonna be helping them a little bit uh, with their electric motor installation. So they've managed to take out their old engines and they're gonna put in torpedoes. So that's gonna be kind of cool to see. So I just tried to take you on a bit of a tour of the yard on the scooters, um, but it was a little bit bouncy because it's just gravel roads. Um, so I think I'll walk you around instead.
This yard is massive. There's so many boats everywhere. And it seems like a lot of people are doing their own work on their boats and there's a lot more people around. So it's diff that's another difference from when we were in Lupron. So I do find it quite fun to walk around boat yards and just take a look and see what's around. There's definitely some boats that have been here for a while. <laughs> That's for sure. And they're definitely packed in nice and close. <laughs> So I find it always interesting to walk around a little bit when we are in some place new. Especially in a boatyard you can find all sorts of things. The showers don't look that so welcoming. I can say that. And you can even have a while holding hands. I know the bathrooms don't look great. However, most boatyards don't have the greatest bathrooms. We're not going to be staying on the boat, so it doesn't really matter for us. It definitely makes you wonder when you walk through here, like all the different stories of all these different boats that are on the hard. Where they've been, where they've come from. How long they've been here even. <laughs> what that used to be. It's definitely kind of buried in some uh, palm fronds. So it is it's kind of fun. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as we are to finally get cracking on some of these projects. So stay tuned for next week where we really get into it. <laughs>